Welcome back to Let's Play Tautological Pleonasm. Jeanne has arrived at the Dwarven Bread Inn, searching for the Wizard Zandalor and someone else who has also been marked. Hmm, I think the only thing I've been marked by are bee stings. Any one of these people could be who I'm searching for. Hopefully not this person. I can't interact with them, but they've got a glass of wine and water and fish meal. Um, maybe the server can help me. Hello, I am rather busy right now. Please talk to the bartender if you want a drink. I was thinking you might say that. Okay, let's approach the bar. Anyone around? Um, guests? Sylvana, a named person. Maybe I'll just talk to Sylvana. Um, Douglas, you must be the bartender. What do you want, stranger? Can't you see I'm busy? Go and bother the other customers with your pestering questions. Now be gone! Are you trying to insult me? Well, aren't you the nervous type? Why don't you go and keep the bartender company? Order yourself a stiff drink while you're there and leave me alone. Uh, aren't you the bartender? You're the, you're the only person behind the bar. What are you trading? You are the bartender. Who are you trying to fool? You're selling all the ales and beers and wines and food. And a nice Dirk. Hmm. Don't much like the cut of your jib. Take care. Well, that was no help. What about this tavern guest? Are you your name friend? Had a good day, have ya? Hello, friend. Any tavern gossip going about? Oh, just the haunted abbey. I, I have. Thank you for your time. I have heard that one. Um, let's see if we can talk to this person with the name Sylvana. Hello. <sighs> you look troubled. What is the matter? Oh, it is my boyfriend, Christopher. He's got this crazy idea that he should beat Burley in the bar's fight. I don't know what came over him. What well, can you tell me about this bar fight? This is a cruel game. People fight Burley for money. He's a very strong guy. I, I don't think anyone can beat him. I really have to go now. Interesting colour. Um, this person. Evening, friend. Had a good day, have you? Um, sorry. I don't think you know who I'm looking for. This person? Hello, miss. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Eh? Uh, uh sorry, I don't, I don't have time to talk to you right now. Um, I suspect none of these people are who I need to speak to. Oh, just, just passing by, friend. Um, let's have a look in the other rooms. Oh. Wild boar sounds. It's not encouraging. Greeting, lady. What can I do for you? Uh, greetings? What are you doing here? I'm looking for a man called Zandalor. He's rather old and has a beard. He said he would meet me here. Um, let's play it cautiously. Uh, greetings. I am waiting for someone. Uh, I'm looking for a man called Zandalor. Zandalor? Quite the coincidence. I am looking for him too. Which means that you two are a... Marked one. Uh, Zandalor mentioned that I am a marked one. Do you know what this all means? I am as puzzled as you about the matter, my friend. Sorry. Mm, that's a shame. Do you know where Zandalor is? He has gone to Stormfist Castle to find out another marked one, I believe. Oh, I know where Stormfist Castle is, but I'll ask anyway. Here, let me mark it on your map. It'll save me the trouble. Uh, just how many of these marked ones are there? Zandalor said there are three. You and I, and one who's gone to see at Stormfist Castle. He'll go to the castle and find him. Seems to be the only way things get done around here. Zandalor said we should wait here. I am sure he will return shortly. Uh, I still think I should go to the castle. Maybe Zandalor is in trouble and needs help. If he returns while I'm gone, tell him I shall check back here from time to time. Very well. Maybe there's no point in us both waiting here. Well, you could come with me. I mean, you look well equipped. Have you seen the size of the bees? Very, very well, I will go. Oh, Wuta. Or Vuta? Hmm. I suspect we're not going to be bosom companions, but who knows? Okay, let's check. Let's check some of the other rooms around here. Hello? Oh! Oh, human! Friend of all! 
Uh, I'm a friend to all honest folk. Why, well, of course, don't you recognize me as Grogar the Troll, the evil slayer of dwarven idiots? Well, do you have any more silly questions? I'm a friend to all honest folk. Good to hear! With all these stinking monsters about, it's good to see a friendly face again. Where are you headed? My destination is yonder dwarven village Glenborus, not far from here. But nowadays, even the shortest journeys are dangerous, and I have an important mission to perform. I have to bring something to the mayor, Dunatrim, of Glenborus. But it's so important, maybe I can help you. I've had a hard time myself of late. Ah, so I can see you in tough times. Still, I myself have been extremely lucky over the last couple of weeks. I found some excellent gemstones up in the mountains. What kind of gemstones? Several four flawless fire stones, land pearls and elf rubies, not to mention a bag full of semi-precious gems. Now listen stranger, my father always told me to share my good luck with those that need it. That way you keep the favour of the good gods and stay lucky. So, seeing you've had a hard time of late, I would like to give you a gem. Share a little of my joy as it were. Would you accept such a gift from me? You're the very soul of generosity and wisdom, good sir dwarf. I humbly accept your gift and I'm in your debt. Uh, no thank you. It's not that I'm ungrateful, friend, but others need such generosity more than I do. There are many war refugees passing through these parts. Most are more worthy of such a princely gift than a wandering freebooter like myself. So, you say you have a lot of valuable gems? Gods be praised for making rich fools such as me to pray upon. Uh, now hand me over all, over all the stones, or do I have to take them from your bloody corpse? Um, so the, a bit of a spectrum there. What would Jan do? I don't. I don't think Jan would take it. I think Jan would say someone else is more in need. Grungla! Some would be insulted to have their gift rejected, human. But your words are music to my ears. You're as generous in spirit as my old dad, and I'm proud to know you. I will go and find someone who is really in need of my gift. The feeling is mutual, my friend. Grungla. Nuffy pops. Um, may I sleep in your bed if you're no longer using it? No. I think we come back come back to the same in problem that we had from the the blue boar. What's this scroll? Can I have a look at this? Let's have a look. That'll be under here, won't it? This one? Teleports at the dwarves! Ooh! So have I now got the activation for mages and dwarves? That's really handy. Okay. I feel this is probably all the use I'm going to get out of this in. Oh, hello. I can see a chicken coop and some hay and straw. Nice. I think that might be where I need to head for a night's rest. What's this? Krasnodar. Oh, it's my friend. There you are again, my generous human friend. I did as you suggested and made a poor family really happy. We humans and dwarves must stand side by side during these troubling times. Yeah, I think there's nothing else I can do really but head on. So I'll see if I can find a way into that chicken coop for a good night's rest. And then head back to the castle. This part of the inn too. Hmm, for some reason the um the black dot area of the map doesn't seem to be showing up at the moment, which is interesting. Oh, this is just part of the inn. Um, I bet I can't sleep in these beds, can I? No. It's the amazing uh Self-roasting pork over here, I can see. Okay, I'll carry on uh, round to the side of this um, chicken pen. Hopefully I won't get attacked by anything on the way. So I have no magic left. 
Yo, oh, there's a bee. Yo, oh, the bee followed me in. Oh, I'm gonna whack at it until. That was nice. Phew. Hello, kitty. Can I? Oh, you're off. Oh, you disappeared. Okay. Right. This looks promising. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick save. And then sleep in the hay, I think. And when I wake up, oh, it's night time. And I can have a look at my level ups. Ooh, I can get two two skills. I've got five points to spend. So I think as I'm using magic more heavily, I think a couple of points into intelligence would be good. Um, kind of for armor's sake, I kind of want the strength to go up as well, so I put one into each of the others. Yeah, seems good. Um, level 5, nice. So some things should open up to me now on level 5. So look, powers of matter. We could do limbs of lead. Once cast upon your opponent, their limbs become like lead and they are slow to crawl. Hmm, potential. Freeze. Bring your opponent to a complete halt and t then eliminate them or make your escape. Target is frozen for three time units. Frozen target receives 20 damage. Uh, only for creatures with spiritual resistance lower than or equal to 10. Hmm, tempting. I can do the old summon vermin and skeleton. I picked up banish, that was really lucky. Um, I've already got bless and restoration. So I guess when I get to 12 that will level up again. I think. I don't think you can select. No, when you've already got, you can't select. Wizard Sight. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how useful that would be. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, I did want to get Identify um, from there. Alchemy might be useful. No creature might be useful. Trader's Tongue. I mean, I haven't done a lot of trading so far. But I might have to change. Uh, whoa, I can get all this stuff. What's this? Augment damage. Oh no, sorry. Augment defense. Passive. Your knowledge of self defense is enhanced, thereby reducing damage sustained from your enemies. That sounds really helpful. Um, poison damage, fire damage, and lightning damage. Uh, they're all melee attack um, bonuses, and I don't use a lot of melee, so probably augment defense is the most useful thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to go. Uh, identify. Hopefully that'll just take one of those How wonderful. points. And then I get uh, defense as well, please. Superb! Nice. So I should immediately be able to have a look at the armor I've got that I had not be able to identify. Yeah, Prince Priest Robe. Nice. Uh, it's got a plus one to intelligence, that's probably why it's a, a special um, unidentified object. And the guard's leather helmet. Armor 40, 20% chance of absorbing damage. What have I got? Armor 70, 20% chance of absorbing damage. But this one has plus four to vitality. That's probably going to come in handy. Uh, yep, swap those over. Nice, and I'll hold on to the... Um, leather armour that I've got that I hope that I might one day be able to wear it. Nice. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a full save and then we'll head back cross country to the castle. Let's go. Um, hang on, let me change my... Uh, magic slot to meteor strike because that's going to be more useful if I encounter anything buzzing around. I think this is the general direction. More mushrooms. One day I might learn alchemy. Okay, so I've been on this path before. Let's head up here and see see what happens. Ow, bees! I do a lot of damage. Well, there's lots of bees. Oh, who's this? Give way. We wish to pass. 
Oh, oh, I. Uh, an important person such as yourself should go first. Well, let's begin off. We need to push other people around. It's you who should give way, otherwise you'll regret it. Lay your hands on your weapon. Oh, I don't have anything to against this person. They can go first. Watch your mouth, a moccasin. You'll be carrying your teeth home in your hat. Calm down, calm down. I, I don't want to fight you. Uh, I just want to pass. Oh, okay. I've got experience for that. Interesting. So, I have a feeling I might be heading in the wrong direction as I didn't encounter these people before. Am I heading off the beaten track? I need to, I need to cut further across, don't I? Interesting. Uh, let's zoom this map out. What's up here? This dad be dangerous. Okay. Yeah, so I've gone too far north. Um, let's backtrack. No more bees, please, no more bees. Oh, it's a building. Could this be the castle? Hey. I hope it is. It's a big structure, I think it's gotta be, isn't it? Oh, what's this? A notice board. Royal announcements. Now the previous protector failed his job miserably, his highness the duke is looking for a new bodyguard. Obviously the previous one was not the one foretold in the prophecy. Fair enough. Um, let's see if these royal guards have anything to say. Oh, a fine knight. Can the castle guards be of any assistance to you? What's the latest news, good guard? General Alex was up here talking to Duke Janus about the war and the orcs. From all the shouting, I'd guess they don't see eye to eye on matters of strategy. Frankly, I wish I were under the general's direct command, not that brat Janus. She's a military genius, and he's just a randy little pipsqueak. Um, thanks for your time, good guardsman. That's um, quite a description. Okay, so I think to get in, I've got to talk to Captain of the Guard. Good day to you, sir. That's miss, thanks. What can I do for you? Uh, I would like to speak to Duke Janus. May I see your invitation, please? I don't actually want to talk to him. I'm a friend of Zandalor, and I'm looking for him. I heard he came to Stormfist Castle. Who are you talking about? I've never heard that name. You're wasting my time. No, I speak the truth. It is an old man, and he looks like a wizard. Really? Uh, uh, yes. Now I recall him. Yes, he had a safe conduct from the old Duke, so he was allowed to enter. All right then, so can, can I enter, please? May I see your invitation, please? I don't have one. No, I'm sorry, I, I can't let you pass. What do I have to do to gain entry into Stormfist Castle? Well, the old Duke occasionally invited people to the castle to congratulate them for completing important services for Rivertown or the surrounding regions. Oh, oh yeah? I'm starting to get, uh, starting to formulate a picture here. Uh, really, what do you suggest I do to obtain such an invitation? Well, an obvious freebooter like you could prove yourself useful to the army. An orc invasion is imminent, so they'll need all the help that you, they can get. Or you could talk to Commander Ralph of the Town Watch. They're based just south of here. He sometimes asks outsiders to investigate uh, politically sensitive matters. Uh, thank you, I'll follow up your suggestions, friend. Um, so... Hmm, I get the feeling this is all just a wild goose chase. I could help the General Alex with her request to get a message to one of her soldiers. And that might gain me entry to the castle. Oh, it's a bee! Look out! It's a bee! Ah, and a ball. <sighs> Treacherous balls. So what's this building here? Could this be the way the... This could be where the guard was, couldn't it? I mean, the town watch. 
Um, so they might be useful to speak to if I'm heading back south to go to General Alex. Oh, hello. Back off with that weapon or I'll take it off and stick it where even the gods can't see. Oh, you remind me of someone. Uh, yeah, oh, I didn't mean to make you nervous, friend. Good morrow, miss. Is there anything the watch can do for you? Uh, what's the word on the street, officer? There's a lot of thieving going on lately. My sergeant swears blind that the Thieves Guild is recruiting a lot of new members, but I think it's because of all the troubles we've been having lately. Where there are a lot of poor and dispossessed people, you always get crime. Even an honest man will steal if it's to feed his starving family. Not an unfair assessment. Thanks for your time, officer. Can I... Uh, can I... Uh, is this the Dwarven Bread Inn? Oh, this is the town watch. Go east to reach the inn. Uh, I want to talk to the commander. Help yourself, go in. I won't carry you. Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks for your time, officer. Uh, oh, yes, this uh, Commander Ralph looks uh, a sort. Let's... Greetings, citizen. I am Ralph, commander of the town guard. What can I do for you? Has there been any trouble hereabouts lately? Bah! I know not where to start. The Duke's death, the plague in the poor quarter, orcs gathering at the border. There's a storm of troubles brewing, that's for sure. What can you tell me about the Duke's death? I don't believe he died a natural death, that's for sure. But my superiors refuse to accept my suspicions. What were the circumstances of the Duke's death? The Duke was hunting when he was hit in the leg by an arrow. It wasn't serious, but mere hours later, after a bout of fever, he lay dead. The official explanation was that a member of the hunting party accidentally let loose an arrow, and it hit the Duke, and he died as a result. No one dies of such a simple wound. I believe the arrow was poisoned and let loose by an assassin. What makes you think an assassin is responsible? There are well known methods of assassination used by the Guild. Perhaps I can help? Maybe I can investigate the matter for you. My duties prevent me from spending enough time investigating myself. Your help is welcome. Go and speak to Sir Dante. He's a rich merchant living in Vedistus. Vedistus? Here, I'll mark his location on your map. It's my suspicion that the Assassin's Guild is involved. What is this I hear about the plague in the poor quarter? It's a terrible disease. They call it the Grey Death. No, not as bad as the Black Death, but it's getting there. It's been partly contained in a small area of the poor quarter, but I fear it will soon spread further unless Dr. Elrath can find a cure. Tell me about Dr. Elrath. Oh, he's well known throughout Rivertown. He, he lives near the marketplace, and he's our only hope of finding a cure for this terrible disease. Uh, where can I find the doctor? Well, he lives in a house near the marketplace, but he visits the poor quarters regularly to care for the victims. What can you tell me about the orc invasion? A short time ago, the orcs attacked a small village to the southeast of Rivertown. They completely wiped out the village, and they now gather their forces again to attack another village to the south. A section of the army is fighting to stop them. Farewell. Um, let's check the map, because I suspect there's some more things on here now. Um, so what we got? Uh, that's where I am. That's where I was directed, isn't it? And there's the Dwarven Bread Inn. So what's up here? Oh, so that's Dr. Elrath in the market. Rivertown Market is up here, but I thought Rivertown was down here. So what's this area then? Does this look like the poor area? Do they count this all as the town? Maybe. Um, that's the Cursed Abbey I am avoiding. What's up here? As far as we can go. Um, the road to the distance, so that must be on a different map. And then here is Captain Mittock, so that's the, the mission we're given from General Alex. And then this one is the Archer's Guild, um, where the Elven Lord is. So we might not have to go through the quarantined area to get there, actually. So that's something. Um, okay, so I think. On my way to the barracks, I'm going to attempt to explore this darkened area and this darkened area to uncover those. So I know a bit more of what's going on around here. Uh, farewell, Ralph. Toodaloo!